when, when changes are inevitable, um, you can let them happen organically or you can be proactive and think about, you know, and anticipate the kinds of things that you're going to need. And every, every corporation has to uh, upgrade and refresh their IT every, you know, three to five years anyway in yeah. one way or another. And a lot of organizations, this, this IT cost has become so great that it's, uh, uh, it's like a national deficit. You know, it's the interest payments on it, <laughs> the, 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 the amount of money that's paid just to keep everything running is so great. Uh, and the systems in some cases are so complex that um, there's very little room left in the budget for any kind of innovation. And so you have um, these, yeah, these legacy systems and, uh, you know, Amazon again uh, is kind of anticipating this future world with their uh, Amazon uh, web services and all the infrastructure that they're providing to let companies put that computing, all that computing and processing and uh, data storage in the cloud. And I think this is an example of uh, a good first step, right? Um, you're going to, um, when you when you rent an apartment building, you don't have to worry about the plumbing, right? You don't have to worry if there's a problem, you just call the landlord. And I think for, um, you know, and, and it's built into your rent. So you're paying, yes, you're paying the rent, um, but your, your, your costs are more um, predictable than they are if you own something. And the, the cost of ownership is, uh, is uh, you know, if you own a house and one day you need a new roof, suddenly you have, Got to spend five thousand dollars or whatever the equivalent is in euros, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, seven thousand maybe, three thousand. But you got to spend all this money that you weren't planning for. And in corporations have the same problem when it comes to IT. Um, Target was uh, was hosting all of its e-commerce on Amazon's uh, platform, and they decided, well, we're going to build it ourselves. And you know, I don't know if you know that story, but uh, they said we're going to take care of it ourselves, and then they. Yeah kept have prob having problems with it <laughs> going down. I think um, there's also this thing of if you're gonna if you're gonna um, companies are always kind of refreshing themselves and reinventing themselves anyway and I think sometimes um, <clears throat> um, some companies already are designed in a very kind of podular way like um, uh, <clears throat> restaurant chains for example in a restaurant chain, you already have, you know, an individual kind of sem somewhat autonomous unit. You know, you have this, uh, let's say McDonald's, right? You have each McDonald's store, I only use that because it's a global example that everyone would probably recognize. Each McDonald's store is, in essence, like its own little company. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, companies that are organized in that way have actually, I think, an easier job uh, because as stuff gets older in one uh, unit, you can refresh it. And uh, you can do something completely different. Um, whereas if you have everything that's interconnected at a, at a global level and everything's centrally controlled, then it's, it's very hard to do it in a more organic uh, kind of progressive way. Um, because, you know, let's say a company like uh, Microsoft can't change Microsoft Outlook in that kind of sure. <laughs> one little store at a time way. They have to change it globally because the cost to support that stuff is is huge. So I think there's um, uh, the more that uh, so some companies like Facebook have kind of figured out some interesting ways to manage this kind of change. So they'll uh, um, if you're at Facebook and let's say you reach a point where they can't like they uh, I uh, heard a guy talk about the photo uploading mm -hmm. and you know a pretty high percentage of photo uploads were just abandoned so people they knew that people started it and they wanted to upload their photos but they didn't finish well there's so much only so much you can do is kind of like to improve what's already there and sometimes you just have to pull it out and radically try something radically different and um, uh, try and get to that next uh, level and what they do at Facebook and a lot of other I think uh, technology companies is they allow uh, their developers to check out a uh, a sample size so they can do an experiment so if you're a Facebook development team you can check out 10,000 people 